Today we are going to discuss about design of WD reinforced section according to the BS 8110 part 1 1997. We are going to discuss this with the work exam. Then it will be easy for you to understand very well. Alright, this is the example and this is the data for our calculations. Bending moments say it is 250 kilonewtons, say shear force is 200 kilonewtons. These are the main loads we apply or we consider for design of the section. Now, in this case, we are going to design a section, beam section. Then we are going to find this W reinforced section. So, we are going to find the bottom reinforcement and the top reinforcement. Both, both those will be going to. Evaluate. We consider the width of the beam mass 225 millimeters, height of the beam mass 500 millimeters, concrete grade as 25 newtons per millimeter squared, the strength of the steel 460 and cover to the reinforcement 30 and the link diameter, shear link diameter 10 millimeter. So first what we are want to do here is to calculate the effective depth. Now we know the data and now we can calculate the effective depth. Now how do we calculate the effective depth? Effective depth is the depth from the compression fiber to tension reinforcement diameter center of the center center of the tension reinforcement bar so uh, now how we can calculate effective depth is equal 500 minus cover 30 minus 10 that is stirred up diameter minus 20 by 2 20 is the main reinforcement bar diameter now since we are not aware about these things we could assume depending on the uh, size of the beam we may judge whether we provide 12 millimeter bars 16 millimeter bars or 20 millimeter bars depending on that we could judge and we assume a certain diameter for main reinforcement then with that we can calculate the effective that for in this example it will be 450 now we calculate the k i think these all the equations are in the design standard but you if you can follow this procedure you won't be in trouble so same procedure given in the standard we are going to discuss today so you calculate the k k is equals m o v d squared f c so up, we know the bending moment 250 that is newtons per kilo newton meter now we have to convert this into one unit it will be easy so all those fcu and other parameters width and height all the in millimeters we better consider this in the newtons per millimeter square so you have to multiply 10 to the power 6 divided by width of the beam 225 depth 350 there's a little error in this calculation you can see here this should be 4 okay 450 little error 450 squared into the 25 so we get 0.219 k should be greater than 156 k is greater than 156 it is a w reinforcement section now k dash is 0.15 according to bs k dash is greater than k that is 0.25 this is w reinforced section otherwise it's a singly reinforced section now in this example therefore the section is w reinforced because k is greater than 0.15 5, 6, this one is greater than this one. Let's calculate the D dash. What is D dash? This is the depth to the compression range. As we discussed previously, this is say this is a section. So you have a compression reinforcement here. This depth you have to calculate for the compression reinforcement. So here say we are going to put the bottom reinforcement at the tension reinforcement. Then in this in that case, compression reinforcement will be this, then depth to this one we have to calculate center to this so we know the cover 30 link diameter we know strap diameter we know the main bar diameter we can we have to assume as previously say it's 16 millimeter then you can calculate the d dash so we know now d dash now let's calculate the compression reinforcement requirement there is an equation given in the code so you can use the same equation to calculate that that equation is a dash is the compression reinforcement area equal k minus k dash into fcu bd squared divided by 0.95 f by d minus d dash we now know all those parameters k we calculate already 0.219 k 
k dash we know from the standard it's 0.156 as we discussed here now fcu we know that's the cube strength of the concrete b width of the beam say 225 and the effective depth 450 and uh, 0 0.95 it's in the equation yield strength of the reinforcement 460 d minus d dash d 450 d dash we have calculated 48 millimeters from that we can calculate the compression reinforcement area 277 so 277 we when we assume the d is as a 16 millimeter for compression reinforcement this then it will be okay because you can't provide 12 millimeter bus for this one you have to write two numbers of at least 16 millimeter bus then d dash calculation also okay correct now let's calculate the main reinforcement or the tension rate first you need to calculate the leave arm or z so you said the equation for the z is given in the standard again so it's e z is equal b into 0.5 plus 0.25 minus k divided by 9.9 .9 to the power 0.5 so this equation also given in the standard so you can use the same equations so now we know all the parameters here b 450.5 is there 0.25 is there point k dash is here so you have you don't substitute k here you have to keep in mind this k dash you have to be very careful with these symbols mistakenly you may use k here therefore you have to be keep in mind on that k dash 0.156 divided by 0.9 with that we can calculate the lever r so one more check you should do here is lever arm shall not be greater than 0.95 d that also you have to make sure you have z then we can calculate the reinforcement data this equation also given in the standard k into k dash into fcu v d squared divided by 0.87 fiz plus a dash a dash we have already calculated that is that is the compression reinforcement area now let's substitute k dash we know 0.156 fcu we know concrete grade cube strength 25 now width of the beam 225 effective depth 450 divided by 0.95 this value actually yeah this there's an error but we discuss about this one there are two standard in the bs8110 so one is published in 85 another one is in 1997 so these two publications they have used for different material safety factor for reinforcement is T. Here it used 0.87. Here it used 0 0.95. 0 0.95. These are the these are some differences in these two standards. So since we previously used 0 0.95, uh, this you have to use this should be 0 0.95. There's no other uh, deviation on this equation they have changed the material safety factor for reinforcement bars in 1997 we do calculation of 197 in this calculation so it should be 95 uh, then f5460 then you know the z you have calculated now this is the compression reinforcement area with that you can calculate the tension reinforcement area that is 1592 millimeters square so you know now compression reinforcement area now you know the temp tension reinforcement your design is done provide three 25 millimeter bars on one layer and two numbers of other layers 12 millimeter bars in the other layer this total area should be made by the reinforcement and bottom reinforcement now the say you have the second bed say we designed for that you can provide this reinforcement area bottom compression reinforcement area you can provide this is this correct i have uh, considered these values because uh, people make mistakes during the calculations these are the places you do the misunderstanding miss or errors now this one one place because you you mistakenly use different standards see due to this one you may have a confusion therefore you have to be very careful again these kind of situations also will be there here as we discussed previously we plan to provide two numbers of 16 bars now when you do the detailing that you have to be very careful when you do the reinforcement detail mistakenly you could provide the wrong reinforcement bar these are the kind of errors that designers are done therefore all those has to be considered when you do the reinforcement detailing during if whether you design 
it correctly you have to be very careful in the detailing also because when you do the detailing the design should reflect in the detailing that you have to keep in mind so you have to correct this one also with that we end the today discussion today we discuss about beam reinforcement design according to the bs8110 so i think you have gained good knowledge on this so let's meet again from new video until then bye